Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to do a complete teardown and reassembly on the Samsung Galaxy S5. I'll include links in the video description for anything that I think might be helpful to you, the tools that I'll be using for this procedure, or the parts where I got the parts for the best price, I'll pass that along to you guys. So to remove the back cover, what you'll need to do is just grab the phone, and right in this top part up here, there's a little notch. You can put your fingernail in there, your thumbnail, and just grab it and work your way around and the back cover comes right off. So to remove the battery just put your finger thumbnail or something under this right in here in this notch and just pry up and the battery comes right out. Next be sure to remove any SIM cards that you might have in the phone or any memory cards. So next there's this white plastic part right here that we're going to want to remove. Slide right in under here and just wiggle it around and it has adhesive under it and it comes right off. Then what we're going to want to do is there's this connector right here for the screen. We're going to need to have something fine point that you can get under here and pop it up. And Next you will need to have a heat gun. I just have a regular hair dryer like this and you will need to apply heat around here. Just experiment a little. Don't get it too hot. Just a little bit at a time and then we're going to be using a suction cup and prying up on the screen. I would say don't do it any more than like 10 seconds at a time or so for the heat and then what I did then is I don't have one big suction cup but I just put two suction cups on here little ones but so what I would do is get started like right in this corner right here and just get started with like a little pick or something like this and you can slide it down. Now just be very careful I would say include one here where you started and then maybe just go ahead I have a whole bunch of these which you're going to need quite a few and you're just going to need to do that and then keep working it around be very careful as you go around And at this point, I would apply a little more heat. Now, I'm not going to show you me using heat because it's so loud. So I would just say give it just a few seconds at a time. So now you will, after you've applied a little more heat, you want to just keep working it around. I'm going to see if I have another thin one here. So you can apply a little bit of pressure as you're pulling this up. And just keep working your way down. After you got it certain far, just um, see that it, it is starting to have a little bit of a gap here as you can see when I pull up on this and so what I would do is have like a plastic spudge tool like this, a pry tool and just carefully get in under here in a few places very carefully as you're pulling up and just work it really slowly it is starting to let loose but just very carefully and slowly. Anytime you feel like it's cooling off a little bit, I would say give it a little more heat. Now it's getting quite loose, just watch this bottom down here. Now before we get it too far, let's go ahead and, and disconnect this connector right in here. As you can see, that connector right there. So we got that. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little more heat down here. So now once you get down certain far, you can see there's adhesive down here. Once you get down certain far, 
and this adhesive right here really hangs in towards the bottom so you'll want to reach in there and pry it up on this on this flexible part here this foil part then once you got that close you can pull it right off just like that so next what we will need to do is have a Phillips screwdriver size 000 and we'll need to remove this screw and these two screws. Next we will use the same Phillips screwdriver and we'll need to remove these 10 black screws right here all the way around. So to remove this back part what I found if you start up in this top right corner here and you just kind of press this down to separate between these two and then if you have a pry tool to get in here it's kind of hard to show this and then watch the rear the front camera there you want to get beside that but and then you'll just want to kind of try to work your way around and watch there's stuff in here like the logic board and stuff too sometimes it'll slip out that's okay so just keep working your way down around and then across the top here very carefully and once you get around the corner here then it starts lifting up now you have to watch the bottom is down in here at this part here so you want to kind of pick it up and rock it a little bit and then pull it apart like that to remove the logic board what you'll need to do is there's a little Phillips screw right here a silver one you want to take that out and then next what you're going to want to do is disconnect this antenna wire right here I like to use the tweezers to do it you can do it however you want and then you can just grab the logic board and just pick it straight up like this and then there's a connector right down here you can either use your thumbnail if you want or whatever I like to use this plastic pry tool so it doesn't damage anything and just get in there and remove that connector right there and the logic board comes out just like that. Your camera, what you will need to do is just pry up here on this connector right here. And as you can see, it comes right on. And then to reinstall, all you need to do is set it back in here, kind of hold it there, and just push down on the connector right there, and you're all set camera what you will need to do is just pry up on this connector right here and then the front camera comes right out just like that so to reinstall all you need to do is grab it and just push down right there and you're good to go phone jack what you'll need to do is have something sharp like a tweezers is what I have and just get under this part right here First and just kind of wiggle it loose just carefully get under there it's a little tricky and it's got adhesive under it so just go careful and slow and then if you wiggle that loose and then if you get right under the back part of the headphone right there and then the, if the whole thing pops up you have to kind of turn it up like this a little bit as you do it and then it comes right out so to reinstall your new one just if it has a f adhesive there, the film protector on it, just remove that. And then grab your headphone jack and set it in that way first. And set it right down in there. And it snaps in kind of. And then just make sure that this is lined up. There's a little peg right here for this hole. You have to set it down properly on there. And then just push down, make sure that the adhesive sticks and you're good to go. Charging port. What you'll need to do, first of all, is remove a little Phillips screw right here. It's a black one, so keep track of that. That's only one like it. And then you're going to want to remove this antenna wire right here. Just pry up on it. And then what we'll need to do is flip this over. And we'll need to take these, carefully take these loose right here. These pieces, they're, they're stuck down with adhesive. There's one on this side as well. And then flip it back over. 
come over here and then if you start right here get this start this side started here and then what I like to do is uh, if you get started with something like a plastic pry tool and just kind of pry it up as you come across and then there's adhesive under this last part here you'll want to watch but then the whole thing comes right off just like that vibrator what you'll need to do is have something sharp that goes under and start right under this part right here this little flex cable here and it's got adhesive under it just take it slow you can slide it back and just take it loose as you go and then what I find works really well is if you go right in the, under the back part of the vibrator right here you can just go under it from this direction and then grab it and wiggle it a little bit it's got adhesive on it and it comes out just like that so to reinstall all you need to do is set it down there just the direction that it goes and don't press down too hard until you get this lined up where it needs to go and then get this flex cable back in there's a little peg right here that holds that where it needs to go so get that in place first then you can go ahead and make sure everything is pushed down properly just like that so to reinstall what you need to do is set it back down in place where it needs to go and I would recommend getting your black screw and putting it in right away right in there and then flip it back over and reinstall these guys right where they need to go now they they both have holes there and pegs to line up so you can't get them in the wrong spot and just to reinstall the logic board what you want to do first is turn it like this way and reconnect this connector right here first of all and then what I like to do is turn it this way and go ahead and set it down. Now watch this wire right here, this antenna wire it likes to get in the way. Just go ahead and carefully set this down right there. And then we'll go ahead and put our silver screw back in here that we took out. Now just make sure everything's setting down there nicely and then we want to go ahead and reconnect this antenna wire put this back part back together you just grab this here make sure everything's seated in there good like the front camera and everything and then just go ahead and put this bottom part in here first the charging port has to go in first and then everything else can just snap right in. Just make sure everything's locked in. Then you can go ahead and put all these 10 black screws in here first and then go ahead and put these three silver ones in the back here. To reassemble the LCD screen, make sure that you have all the adhesive peeled off of here that is going to interfere for your new adhesive and then go ahead and put all your new adhesive down and these strips as well if you want to retain your waterproof you want to replace this as well but um, make sure that and then so then on the back of the LCDs there's this little connector here that has to go in this notch right here so there's this connector here that has to be connected and I almost found it's easier to just keep the screen kind of parallel and do this one first and then you can see down in here for this lower one to get that connected and to get it lined up properly to get it through this hole here that I was talking about so once you have everything lined up properly and just kind of squeeze it together all the way around and then go ahead and reconnect this connector in the back down in there then what I would recommend is give it some heat around here just give it a few seconds and then make sure that that's seated nice and good next you will want to grab this little white piece and just set it right down here and make sure that it sticks down 
good. And then you want to go ahead and insert your SIM card or micro SD card if you have one. To reinstall the battery, just see where the contacts are in the battery and where the connectors are on, on there and make sure you turn it the right way. Just slide it right in, set it down just like that. To put the back cover back on, what you'll need to do is just set it on top of here. I'd say you start with the top and just kind of work your way down around. Make sure that it's fastened properly all the way around and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.